Hey guys, welcome to vlog number one. This is going to be a um, really exciting, really new experience for me. I've been promising my Tumblr following that I will do YouTube videos for like two years or perhaps more at this point, honestly. And um, claps for me because I finally succeeded in delivering and also claps for you guys because you stuck around and stayed interested in what I was going to be doing for you. It's been long coming. Again, thank you so much to everybody who decided to like actually give a shit about this because I still like to this day have people messaging me on Snapchat and on Tumblr being like, girl, where are the videos? I can't snap apparently. <laughs> um, but they're like, yeah, like where are the videos? Like where's your YouTube? Where can I subscribe? And I'm like, I don't have anything for you. <laughs> but um, alas, like three years later, here we are. And also at the end of this vlog, I have a pretty big unboxing for you guys. I'm not gonna give too much away right now, but I spent a lot. I shouldn't say I, these were gifts. I'm not gonna front and say I spent my own money because that's how you get the haters. No, these are gifts. We're gonna get that out right now. But um, I think you guys might be interested to see what I got. If you follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram or on Tumblr, some of these items will make sense to you because I've mentioned them in the past, but I basically wanted to leave the big reveal for YouTube because why not? Secrecy is great and then you can monetize off it. <laughs> I say this like I'm going to be making any money off of YouTube. So yeah, there's going to be a huge unboxing at the end, which I hope you guys stay tuned for. Or like, I guess just skip to the end. Please don't do that. I'm saying this now, but don't do it. Be patient and actually watch the rest of the video. It'll be entertaining. It will be fabulous. So if you want to see what I got in my super exciting, super expensive luxury haul, stick to the end and I will see you then. i
too many girls that I fucked already Bout to hit the Uber up to come and get me But she caught me by the door like you should have texted See you about that Thought I told you that I wasn't ready I'm just not looking for something steady Dick game strong so you won't forget me now I'm wrong and I know And it's all cause of her I got hurt, so now I hurt This ain't what you deserve Yeah, I know hurt people hurt people And heal people heal people They say hurt people hurt people And heal people heal people Yeah, I know hurt people hurt people And heal people heal people They say hurt people hurt people Just give me time to heal people I been had my guard up Cause somebody fucked my heart up Now my shit is all scarred up But I had it like some gun cuts Used to wear it on my sleeve Till you stop wearing my shirt to sleep Now I got new girls on my tees But they took it off when they leave I'm wrong and I know And it's all cause of her I got her so now I hurt this ain't what you deserve. 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 Yeah, I know hurt people, hurt people. They heal people, heal people. They say hurt people, hurt people. They heal people, heal people. Yeah, I know hurt people, hurt people. They heal people, heal people. They say hurt people, hurt people Just give me time to heal people Small talk, nothing long term Highway to my heart, took a wrong turn Look in the mirror, see an imposter Not quite sure where I lost you I gotta get lit just to open up I have faith in you, but got no hope in us People on the way to it That was their loss, even they knew it, yeah But that fake shit, I see straight through it, yeah No wrong moves, I'm getting straight to it, yeah Getting straight to it, yeah That was their loss, even they knew it, yeah But that fake shit, I see straight through it, yeah No wrong moves, I'm getting straight to it, yeah When you hear my name, put my face to it, yeah a lot of fake people try to change who I am My brother locked up, get the case moving, yeah All the right moves, I get straight to it, yeah I'm not who you think I am, don't assume Feel the tension when I step into the room I am on it, now you're on it soon, yeah I don't get mad, I just improve, yeah I really hope this ain't your bitch right here On the phone, trying to take a pic right here my time, yeah, I know you see me shining Funny how my old girl had a problem with the timing I lost a lot of people on the way to it That was their loss, even they knew it, yeah But that fake shit, I just stay through Welcome back! You made it to the end, so now it is the part that everybody's been waiting for It is the luxury unboxing I'm gonna try and do this as quick as I can because I don't want it to be the main focus of this video But I definitely do want to show you guys what I got because I got some really cool stuff I'm not gonna go in any particular order for the majority of the items But I'm gonna save my favorite item for the very last I want to go out with a bang and a little bit of extravagance 
this big old bag next to me, which I had to take out of a frame previously, is um, what I'm going to start with. This is from Saint Laurent. Should be Yves Saint Laurent, but we're just going to accept the dropping of Yves because fashion and aesthetic, and I appreciate that. Um, I got some boots. <laughs> we're just going to tell you right before I go in. The box is huge, as the bag is as well. You guys can obviously see. That's upside down. Um, these are the Billy Boots, which are stunning. I saw them online when Saint Laurent came out with their fall winter collection, and I was like instantly enthralled. Customs had the liberty of going through this and unboxing it for me. Um, thanks, I guess. So this isn't technically like a first impressions or anything. Again, I purchased them in store, so I had my impression. I knew what they looked like. You could see a little bit of the brown peeking through. They have multiple colorways. I decided on the brown because I bought a black boot in Italy. Very, very, very similar to this. A fraction of the cost. But I got that in black and I got this in brown because brown is just like so cute, so retro. Um, the leather is really nice, really soft. The stitching is really beautiful. It's a bit more complex than you would normally see on this boot, but it just like adds a nice little detail to it. We've got a gunmetal silver zipper, and then the bottom is like literally just plain. Comes in a dust bag. I've got another one in here. However, your girl's lazy, and like I said, I did want this to be a fairly quick unboxing, so I'm not gonna take the time to show both shoes because why? They look the same. However, I'll also show you guys the boot that I got for a fraction of the cost. So these are the cheaper boots. These are from a brand called Pinko. I had never heard of them before I was in Italy. I got these in Rome? In Rome. Yeah. So as you see, very, very similar. Not as much stitching on the sides. However, there is a little bit of that detailing. The bottoms are really cute. They have this little silver metallic bird logo thing, which I guess is Pinko's design. These were along the lines of 300 euro, and I mean, that's pretty good for a leather boot, especially platform. I'm happy with that price. Would recommend, if you can find these online, definitely do, they're really nice, they're super cute in person, and yeah, come through Pinko. The Billy boots, however, a um, little bit more. They were 1,095 euro. I did get a portion of that back at VAT refund. I don't know the exact amount, but it was decent. In total, I got almost a thousand euros back, not specifically on the boots, but like everything together, which should give you a general idea now of how much I spent. It was, like I said, substantial. Um, Moving on, we are going to go into accessories accessories that's what we're gonna do okay Dior these were something that I saw online on I guess you could consider her an influencer and I was like oh my god we have similar ish face shapes if they look good on her and they did they'll probably look okay on me so these are the Dior addicts I got the last pair in Paris at least this is what I was told at the store because these are the first run of the collection, or of the line, I guess I should say. And I guess they don't make them anymore. So I got the one color they had, which is blue, and it has tortoise shell on the sides, as well as the Dior logo, because of course, I'll just do a quick try on. Um, yeah, like I'm a big fan. But yeah, these are just so fabulous. I could definitely picture wearing these and like nothing else on a beach. Like I think that would just be the mood you guys should let me know if you think they suit my face shape because i am open to opinions we can debate we can assess the angles and see what the general population thinks so before these leave a dent in my foundation i'm just gonna put these away before i get them any more dirty though i will probably wear these to the gym because they're just so amazing. Just to do a casual flex as I walk in. Um, yeah, it just comes in a Dior box. I guess I should have shown you that first. I'm terrible at unboxings. I am so sorry. And since I told you guys I would be sharing prices, these were 490 euro. Um, 
I just finished with the sunglasses. They're super cute. I'm going to wear those out today, like I said. This is one of the only things, actually I think it is the only thing aside from those boots that I got in Italy. This is some stuff from the Gucci Garden in Florence. That is already in the vlog, so you guys saw my whole experience there. It was amazing. I would totally recommend it. If you ever have the chance, definitely go. Check out their store as well because what they have there is like specific to that location it's not stuff you can get online you can't get it in another gucci boutique like it's just a really cool concept um i didn't get anything super crazy i got a book like a journal you can't see what's on it but it's this high um i'm gonna put this with my other journal so i have a little collection of pink organizers back there um, and this is a luggage tag, which is, again, so, so cute, also pink, also has the eye on it, but I just thought it was so perfect. The moment I saw it, I was like, I need that because I have a pink Ramoa suitcase, and I just thought that this would be so, so stunning on it. Um, so that's what it looks like. The back has a place for you to write all of your information. This was... I want to say 230 euros i don't have the receipt for this unfortunately so i can't tell you the exact amount however unless you buy it off of ebay or you go to the store itself this is something that you can't really get online so the price does not exactly matter but yeah super cute big fan of it the funny thing is i got this to match my pink suitcase as i just said however um once i got to paris my suitcase broke like she is done i'm gonna send her in for a repair but I'm not really betting on getting a pristine suitcase back, if any. Um, but I'll use that for my new suitcase, which is part of what I got in Europe. I'm not going to bother showing that because it's a suitcase. It's not terribly exciting because it's not pink. It's the champagne trunk. And it's very pretty. It's not going to look as cute as my pink one with that tag, but I will make it work. So on to my most anticipated item, the most expensive item, and in my opinion, the best item. And it is from Fendi. I got their nice limited edition bag. It was so cute. Um, even though I don't have any of the limited edition items, she was like, yeah, I got you, girl. I'm so excited to show you guys what is in here. I had mentioned it briefly on Tumblr. Somebody had asked me what my next bag of choice was, and I replied with this. So I got exactly what I hoped for, the color I had hoped for, the texture I hoped for, everything. I know I'm talking like I got a Birkin um, one of these days once I learn how to schmooze with the sales associates. Um, but let's get right into this baby. I say baby because it is small. Honestly, I don't want to rip that. So what I'm going to do is just lift out my bag. I know that's probably not the best way to do an unboxing, but honestly, we're all just going to accept it because there is no alternative when you want to preserve the packaging. So that will go there. We've got a cute little dust bag, of course. And inside, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, are you guys ready? This is the Python Peekaboo in white. And I'm gagged. I'm gagged. I don't know if you're gagged, but I'm gagged. Um, the details on this are really just impeccable. Honestly, this snakeskin is just <laughs> so perfect. Um, it's a very small bag. I will definitely be wearing it as a crossbody, probably around my waist as well. But it's just so perfect, so pretty, so dainty. And I don't have any white bags. The lightest bag I have is like a beige so this is something very new very exciting very scary for me honestly i'm probably only going to bring this out for like special occasions but um i am obsessed with it already so we've got the python strap so this is the same material as the bag itself and the bag comes with a raincoat which is very thoughtful of fendi and i'm very thankful because i can't imagine you'd want to get python wet um so this is just a quick close-up absolutely stunning i will try and show you guys the interior but i can't guarantee it'll go well <sighs> she's just perfection 
And to go with my baby, if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you would have seen that I have the Fendi Fs on my nails, like just the repetitive logo. Um, so I thought, <laughs> just for the sake of the aesthetic, I would get the charm as well. So I have the F pom pom and it looks so perfect on this little bag. I will show you guys right now. Ah, isn't it just a die for? It's so cute, so perfect, so feminine, so perfect and I'm literally in love. And what you guys may or may not be waiting for is the cost. In total, the python bag with lambskin was 4,400 euro. The tobacco and black key charm fox fur was 490, bringing the total to 4,890 euro. That's definitely not cheap. This is an investment piece. I'm gonna keep it in pristine condition as long as I can. So trust me, I get it. Like that is not everyday spending. It's not everyday spending for me either. Like when I go away, I intentionally get a little extra with my shopping because I know it's not an everyday thing and you get VAT back. And for everything I purchased in Europe, are you ready? Are you really ready? It came to 10,832 Canadian dollars. I was surprised at my own extraness, honestly, but I got everything I wanted while I was away, so it was a very successful trip. I saved some money with duty drawbacks, so that's awesome as well. Overall, it was just a great trip to Europe, and I am obsessed with every aspect of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog as much as I enjoyed being there. I look forward to filming so, so, so many more travel vlogs. If there's anything you guys want to see in the future, please do let me know. I'm so open to suggestions. I'm going to be doing some like shopping hauls, try on hauls, like literally all of it. I am ready to give you guys what you ask for. So just let your girl know. You can hit my DMs on Instagram, on Tumblr, on Snapchat, on like literally any social. You can leave a comment down below. Ultimately, just like let me know. I want to hear from you guys. Tell me how you feel. So thank you guys again so much for waiting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for just like being the people you are because you're all amazing. You're all so supportive and loving. Again, I can't be appreciative enough. And I'm so looking forward to growing and glowing in 2019 with you guys. I will see you soon.